Hello world, today I'm going to give you a few things you can do during quarantine or self-isolation. Okay, so uh, many countries in the world now, including the Netherlands, are informing, uh, uh, enforcing or requesting some form of uh, quarantine or self-isolation. Now, I've been living in a form of quarantine self-isolation for two and a half to three years now, uh, somewhere in the hospital, somewhere at home, uh, depending on what sort of medication I was on or what therapy was running at that time. And there are a couple of things I've done uh, to try and uh, get through the time. And uh, I've got 20 of them listed up, and um, hopefully these will help you. Number one, read or study the Bible. This is a great time to do the Bible study or get insight into the things you wanted to know or to try and understand why you believe what you believe or if you're not a Christian um, why not use this time to study the Bible to see if you can uh, disprove it. Uh, chances are you'll probably believe it in the end but it's a good time to start studying and reading your Bible. Number two, pray. Start working on your relationship with the Lord. Um, this is a wonderful time to really um, because very often when we're busy during the day, we say, oh, I don't have time to pray. Oh, I didn't do this, whatever. Well, what a great time to um, now start praying and really spending time with the Lord. You know, um, really, but proper prayer, uh, not working down a grocery list, but a proper prayer time and times when you can sit in silence with the Lord and worship Him. Number three, read a book. I read the book, um, the biography from, of Shane, Shane Warne, No Spin, during a... One of my hospital stays, um, it took me a while to get through it because of the chemo and such, but it's a great time to read a book and we all have those books that we've wanted to read and never did. Um, if you don't have a book, you can get ebooks. Um, also quite easy, so read. Number four, listen to some music. Um, one of the things I really enjoyed and helped me get through uh, my times uh, of quarantine was uh, listening to Skillet. They're one of my favorite bands. Um, but whatever music you want, um, praise and worship or uh, some golden oldies or whatever is your taste what a great time to listen to music and if you're alone sing loud with number five spend some quality time with your wife or husband or whoever that person is in your life um, I mean if the two of you are locked up together in the house what a great time to talk about things get to know each other and just to be together with that person um, instead of worrying about our busy lives number six Call a family member or a friend or someone you haven't spoken to in a while. Yes, we're stuck at home, we can't get together, but you can still phone someone and talk to them that way. Or with WhatsApp or Skype or whatever other way, you can do a video call. And you can see them and uh, we can all check up on each other. Number seven, watch a debate between a creationist and an evolutionist or a Christian and an atheist or a Christian and a Muslim. Or just follow some other Christian apologist or someone interesting um, that you can learn from. Um, I used to follow William Lane Craig uh, already and Answers in Genesis, but since I've been sick, I've uh, started to find other people out there. Uh, Mike Winger, I really enjoy. He's doing a series on Mark. Um, and uh, Frank Turek um, started to follow him. There, there are quite a lot of these people out there and you can learn from them and um, they've got some very insightful things to say. So follow an apologist. Number eight. Now, I don't know if there are any still going on, but uh, follow a live sport. Um, I remember that I used to enjoy the Sunday afternoons in the hospital because while they were long, uh, during the afternoon, I'd watch the Formula One race. Now, I know a lot of sports events have been cancelled because of the coronavirus, um, although I believe there's still a golf tournament going on somewhere, so if golf is a thing, watch it. But it's, it's a great way to um, also spend time. Number nine, just watch something enjoyable. Um, I enjoyed watching old Formula One races. Um, you know, from the 80s and 90s, um, uh, old cricket highlights. Um, I started watching the Saint, a 1960s uh, TV series. Um, there are so many things out there you can go and find uh, and just to enjoy and, um, you know, uh, watch them, uh, old movies or something. Um, I mean, it's a great way to um, pass the time as well. Number 10, go for walks. Yes, in the woods, out in nature, somewhere, just Go for a walk. Now, I know it sounds weird in quarantine to do that, but hear me out. Most of the time, people are inside. So when you go for a walk, you are still alone. I'm not saying go for a walk in town or in busy places, but find a very secluded place and go for a walk. At least you get some movement. Number 11, 
is do exercise. Now, I'm not a big exercise person, but I have seen when during after I've been sick how important your physical health is. So do some exercise, find something. If you have a home training at home, great. But if not, um, there's so many things you can do. Um, hang from the stairs and pull yourself up. Uh, do sit-ups or push-ups. There, there's so much you can do. So get some exercise. Number 12, if you love cooking, cook. There are so many recipes that we, uh, people like to cook uh, or always want to try and never do, like making fresh pasta or um, cooking a curry totally from scratch, from, uh, you know, um, blooming the spices yourself and everything. And there's so many things you can try that you've never done. Now's your chance. Number 13, tidy up something. I mean, I'm sure we all have that junk drawer with lots of rubbish in. I mean, the batteries that are dead, but you never know if you might need them or whatever. Um, tidy up the drawer. Uh, Tidy up your shelves. Um, there's so much things in the house that needs tidying up. Um, so it's something you can do during this time. Number 14, learn a new skill. Um, I've got a subscription at Skillshare. They're not sponsoring this video, but I do find them very useful. And you can learn uh, things there. It'd be creative skills, um, it'd be entrepreneurial skills, whatever. But learn a new skill, um, learn a language, learn a musical instrument. Um, I'm trying to learn how to edit videos. Uh, so. <sighs> Something you can do during this time is learn a new skill you've always wanted. Number 15, take long baths, pamper yourself, self-care, whatever you want to call it, but take time to care for yourself. Uh, trust me, after all my radiation and chemo and everything, um, this face hasn't gotten any better, so <laughs> it needs all the care it can get. So what a wonderful time to now take time to look after yourself that way. Number 16, play video games. Now, it might sound a bit weird, but um, I don't recommend just playing any game. I do not like violent games, but I enjoy games that are uh, strategic in nature or um, help you train your mind. So if you have those type of games, it's a nice way to do a two-in-one, um, have some fun and do some mind training. Number 17, play board games. Now if you're alone, I understand that might be tough, um, but my wife and I, we recently with some friends uh, over Skype played a board game. So that's one way of doing it. Um, but if you've got a roommate or a family, um, you guys can play board games as well, and it's a good way to pass the time. And I suppose, why not play Risk? We've got all the time in the world now, don't we? Number 18, make a financial investment, or at least do your taxes, or go through your administration or something. Organize your life. I mean, there's always that stack of papers we've never done anything with. So why not um, do something with it now? Um, but at least, you know, sort out your uh, life and your finances. You've got the time to do it now. Number 19, buy some kittens and play with them. Now that's a bit of a silly way of putting it, but we all have pets and we do enjoy them. And I will admit that um, I, in the last uh, two years, uh, got two kittens um, and they certainly helped me pass the time during quarantine. Um, but if you have pets, it's a, yeah, you know, wonderful. Um, play with them, give them attention, and they'll enjoy it as well. And number 20, one I don't like, but hey, we've got the time for it now. Let's get some DIY done, you know, fixing the home, uh, building those cupboards you were supposed to, hanging that shelf, whatever it is. Um, now's your time to get it done. I mean, I guess we've got time. We can do the fun stuff afterwards as a reward, so. Anyway, I hope this uh, gives you ideas of things to do. Um, Sandy to put a list together and uh, start working your way through them. Uh, try and mix it up with things you must do and things you like to do. And um, hey, it'll help you pass the time as you get through the, try to get through this uh, quarantine, self-isolation lockdown period. Anyway, most importantly though, keep well and God bless.